Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today, our lecture is about the uh, the use of the 1.5 ratio in the concrete. You may have listened and heard about this ratio that why we use this ratio in the concrete. So I will explain this ratio with example in this lecture. So the 1.5 ratio actually it is the ratio of the volume of the concrete in the dry condition to the volume of the concrete in the wet condition. This ratio is equal to 1.54. And the volume of the concrete in wet condition means when there is water we place, for example, if this is a beam, consider this is in a beam. So when I put the concrete in this beam, wet concrete, wet concrete means when there is water in the concrete with concrete so when there is water is present in this concrete we call it the wet concrete so when you place the wet concrete in this beam it fills the whole section of the beam so there is no whites present there is no whites present in this concrete because water fills the whites of, of the same coarse aggregate each white is being filled by the water now in the wet condition but in the dry condition when there is no water present so there is some whites uh, there is whites present there is whites present in the concrete uh, in the dry condition so due to these whites uh, they have more they create and they take more volume as compared to the when there is water present and when due to water there is no whites in the wet concrete so when the volume of the dry condition now due to the presence of no water because of this condition that no water is present they carry the more volume because the whites are now present in the dry conditions and these whites make the volume more in the dry condition as compared to the wet condition and we find we we know that the volume of the dry when this is more how much is more this volume in the dry condition this volume is more by a ratio of 1.54 so we multiply this ratio with the wet condition to find out the volume of the dry now let's take an example of beam for example this is a beam and this the, let's take an example the width of this beam is one foot the depth is 1.5 foot So now let's take an example of this beam. This is the beam shown in the 3D. Let's consider that the width of this beam is one foot. The length of this beam, for example, taking a 20 foot and the depth of this beam is 1.5 foot. So now I will find the volume of this concrete. How much concrete is being placed in this uh, beam we can find out easily if the volume of the concrete and the width condition can be found out uh, the multiplying the, these three with one another so we will get the volume of this concrete and this beam 1.5 into 1 into 20 so we get the volume of the width concrete equal to the 30 cubic foot 30 cubic foot volume is being used in this con in this concrete beam right so now i want to find the volume of the uh, dry concrete so to find the volume of the dry concrete is we know that the volume of the wet con dry concrete to the wet concrete ratio is 1.54 so we will multiply volume of the dry equal to the 1.54 into the the wet concrete and the volume of dry can be found out by 54 into volume of the wet concrete is 30 cubic foot. So volume of the dry comes out to be 46.2 cubic foot. It means that volume of the dry, when there is no water present in the concrete, the volume of the uh, concrete comes out to be 46.2 cubic foot, which is more than the volume of the wet by how, by how much uh, ratio? By the ratio of 1.54. So this was all about the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos and thank you for watching our video.